here. In this video, I'm going to share our more recent meals that are back to our roots in macrobiotics. We received a gift kind of out of the blue of about 16 different macrobiotic uh, pamphlets, magazines, and books, which was just such a joy to receive because we had given away so many of our books in the past when we abandoned ship and went from vegan and vegan macrobiotic back into the low carb days. So we have been since accumulating some of the books we used to have and even ones that we didn't have, a lot of the old macrobiotic books. Super excited to just be back on this path because this is the orientation that works best for us. There is not one macrobiotic diet, just like there is not one vegan diet, but it is a way of eating and living that's adhering to principles which are all about being in harmony with nature and the divine order of the universe. So that being said, I'm going to share some of my recent meals and I just want to share that I have been successful through our change at losing those last 10 pounds with perhaps more to go that I have struggled to try to lose for a long time. And though I have not had a serious weight issue, I have had excess body fat and sludge stuck food ama in ayurvedic medicine that has been weighing me down and not feeling as good so to lose that feels so much better and when you finally reach your ideal weight whatever that may be you will just know because you will just feel lighter and so much better and happier you'll feel better in your skin and better in your clothes just real quickly, and I can go over this in more detail in a, another video, but I and or you can read my blog where I did discuss it. Just real quickly though, the main things that I've changed have been reducing my total fluids because I was just drinking too many different kinds of fluids. We eat a lot of soups and vegetables and these things already have a lot of water naturally in them as well as whole grains. That has helped quite a bit because too much fluids is a strain on the kidney. So I really, really, really recommend just drinking to thirst and not going beyond and trying to chug water because you think it's healthy. So secondly, um, we've cut way back on our total protein. People are going to think that's crazy, but it's really actually helping us feel more energized and more balanced. Um, our culture is just so protein obsessed. We realized that we were as well. And this is one of our mistakes that we've made. So we just enjoy a whole lot of whole grains and vegetables with small amounts of beans. We've cut out most of the more difficult beans to digest and we focus more on like mung bean, a dookie bean, black soybean, lentils, chickpeas for the most part. Um, the other thing that has helped me is just really monitoring my feeding times. I have been trying to cut off when I eat or finish eating for the day at four or five. Now there are times where I have a bowl of puffed grain cereal at night and that's one of my favorite late night meals. So if I am really hungry, then I will have that. Super low calorie is really fun to eat. I might fortify it with uh, grape nuts and or some fruit or hemp seeds, but um, that's pretty much it. Most days we try to have our last meal done by four or five, like I said. A few Sundays we did even longer. We went from about three or four Saturday until three or four Sunday until we ate anything at all. So these things have actually helped me be super successful and it's really liberating to not think that I have to be constantly worrying about protein. And I will discuss more of this in future videos, but to keep from going on and on and on, like I do, um, and I'm amazed anyone continues to follow me, but nonetheless, I... Uh, wanted to just show our meals and some of them have explanation of what they are so i hope you enjoy it and you can check out my website and blog the blog which was called the vegetarian intuitive.com you can still go to that url or you can do uh the vegan great life blogspot.com they're going to go to the same place my website is tracymatasmyname.com and or veganmacrobiotics with an s at the end.com. They'll go to the same place. It'll be all linked and I'll put it in the titles here. So enjoy and I'll talk more about this in the next video. Hope you're all well and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.
probiotic breakfast oat barley blend. There's a uh, flaxseed cooked into it. Got some local berries. Really good. And sweet vegetable broth soup. Broth made from the sweet vegetables and then a little more sweet vegetables added. There's onion, cauliflower, and then the butternut squash and wakame. Since there's not any salty condiment on that, I'm putting gamashio, a little bit of ume, plum vinegar, and flax oil on the greens. It's radish greens, kale, and some Swiss chard from the garden. All right, macrobiotic lunch is fresh millet, fresh cooked millet with uh, equal amount, one cup each of millet and uh, cut up kabocha squash. You can see the little bits of orange in there. And the rest of our dookie beans that came out so good. The vegetable is cauliflower, zucchini, beet greens from the garden. There's a little bit of burdock root in there. And cauliflower. And then uh, a little of this fermented vegetable that is store-bought. And for dessert, the last of our apricot kind of canton or aspic, more of a canton. I know it's apricot cooked with water, a little apple juice, cinnamon, tiny bit of um, vanilla flavoring, and then uh, agar agar. So that's for lunch. Okay, this is what a third meal of a weekend day might look like when uh, we may actually have three meals. It's just kind of light and fun. This is a sprouted grain tortilla and there is some steamed um, kabocha squash in there to which I made uh, sauce dip whatever almost like Don said putting like I steamed tofu and blended it with a little peanut butter tahini miso and lemon and we have the rest of our salad as well as pressed salad. Millet cooked with Butternut squash and uh, onion. You can see a little bit right in there. And cauliflower I had to use up, so I made it, I don't know, kind of soupy. It's got seaweed, ginger, nutmeg, a little coriander, tiny bit of curry, scallion garnish, and uh, let's see, I stir in white miso paste and a little bit of tahini to the broth so it's nice and creamy. This lunch is Brown rice cooked with a little hato magi. It's a form of barley. Very good quality. More nutritious, really good when you want to clear out excess fluid dampness in the system. Good in the summer. Let's see, we got broccoli. It's from the farmer's market, but the tips started to yellow kind of quickly. Uh, onion, shiitake mushroom, tofu, and there's a little lotus root in here. Here we go. And seaweed, carrot, ginger. And that was with a kind of a simple sweet sour sauce. I add kudzu root to apple juice with a little like uh, tamari and um, kind of a the Sanjay brand. It's called ume miso something or other. Um, tiny bit of toasted sesame oil and vinegar. And then this is a quick boiled salad. I make a whole bunch at one time, so I have plenty for several days. So it's tossed with a light tahini ume vinaigrette. Miso vegetable soup with uh, wakame seaweed, ginger, carrot, corn, and a little bit of kale. A little bit of a side salad condiment and pasta that's whole wheat pasta and chickpea pasta combined. They look alike with some more greens and a little tahini sauce. Okay, more yellow summer squash soup squash from the garden parsley from the garden this is it's a combination of a whole wheat and an einkorn wheat pasta spaghetti just has a little miso i just combined with the cooking broth from the noodles and some leftover peanut ginger sauce from a from somewhere not anything i made but this is garden zucchini there's a around the edge a kimpira it's like burdock carrot there's actually lotus root and shiitake mushroom all in there and a salad red lettuce from the garden 
cucumber, uh, celery, red onion, a few of those tart berries from the garden for some color, even though it's hidden, and just some splashes of like a white balsamic vinegar, tiny bit of maple syrup, very simple, uh, but also some uh, wakame in there. You can see this here, that's the wakame. Here's my breakfast bowl, probably a little small. This is mixed grain under here. It's a mix, equal amount of rolled flakes of oat, barley, kamut, and spelt. With some goji berries, blueberries, broccoli that was quick boiled. It has kelp on it. And there's a tablespoon of hemp seed, a sprinkling of sunflower seed, and a little of like a pressed salad condiment. all in one small little bowl. Okay, these are black soybeans, and it's cooked with a uh, homegrown carrot, shiitake mushroom, burdock root, which is a good blood purifier, and uh, the green in there is the carrot tops, and a little red onion, cooked with a little of the bean broth and a bit of uh, reduced sodium samari. 